I'm Jacob Geiger for PolitiFact and the Richmond Times-Dispatch. We're here at the Environmental Analysis Lab of Virginia Commonwealth University because Morgan Griffith, the Republican who represents southwestern Virginia in Congress, says the EPA standards for runoff of water near coal mining areas are so strict that bottled water such as uh, Perrier, Evian, and Pellegrino would not pass the test and would not meet qu the quality standards set by the Environmental Protection Agency. So we're going to be joined by Mac Lee from the lab. He's going to help us uh, test these out with some of the technology he and Professor Paul Bukovekis use uh, on the James River here in Richmond. Today we'll be using a HydroLab water quality sensor, which is an instrument that we use on the James River in some of our research to measure, amongst other things, conductivity. Uh, we measure conductivity to determine the uh, concentrations of dissolved solids in the water. Right, so Mac is going to start and we're going to test this on distilled water, so it should have a very low reading since it has been purified. 2.2 microsiemens. The EPA limit is 500. And that's the acceptable limit. All right, so we're going to go next to Pellegrino, uh, bottled in uh, San Pellegrino, Italy. This is one that Morgan Griffith says would not pass uh, the EPA standards. All right, next we're going to do Perrier, the uh, bottled water from France. Like the Pellegrino, it is uh, carbonated, but that should not uh, affect its conductivity. has a much lower conductivity. So our next one we're going to check Evian. As the label says, natural spring water from the French Alps. We'll see uh, if its conductivity is higher or lower than the water we find in uh, streams in the western part of Virginia. So for our last test, I've went down to the James River this morning and I took one of my own water bottles and I have filled it up. With water, uh, I, this was near 19th and uh, Canal Street, so down in the Shaco Bottom area of Richmond. That's, that's the part of the James where I went and I got our water. This will be our final test. Uh, we'll see what the conductivity is of river water. The EPA standard for conductivity is 500 microsiemens in uh, coal mining areas. The distilled water had a conductivity of 2.2 microsiemens. The James River water, 139 microsiemens. Evian, 584. Perrier, 795. And the Pellegrino, 1,266 microsiemens. So if you were to take this water up into the Appalachian Basin uh, and pour it out, enough of it out into a stream near a coal mining runoff area, yes, this would not pass the EPA standards test. The bigger question that we will examine in our article is whether this comparison is relevant since the EPA standards only apply to Appalachia. They're not global water quality standards. This has been Jacob Geiger for the Times-Dispatch and PolitiFact Virginia at VCU's Environmental Analysis Lab.